Yeah, There's not the mobster three. wife who's buying a mink coat or the necklace putting it on in a mirror and the guys behind her like, <laughs> it ain't like that anymore, bro. <laughs> it's not. It's not a North Korean hacker camp. Mm -mm. It's fourteen-year-old autistic kids. There's a commercial bank in Ethiopia that had a glitch, and it allowed customers to withdraw millions and millions of dollars. But does that in Ethiopian money? So it's like five bucks. <laughs> Uh, it's it millions of oh, Ethiopians. No. It ended up being more than 40 million US dollars worth. 40 oh. million? Yeah. This, this glitch was on for several hours before the institution was able to freeze. Several the hours? Yeah. What was the glitch, dude? The ATM just kept spilling money? It just was it a glitch, glitch or a hack? Yeah. It just basically showed that people had way more money uh, or, or they were just able to pull more money than their actual balance. Do you remember when That's like crazy, they said man. that during Y2K everything was going to go bad mm -hmm. and then they'll be like ATM's going to just spit all this <laughs> money out and people are going to be like, oh no! Yeah, Simpsons also predicted that the traffic lights would shoot lasers. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're always right. Blackouts, rolling blackouts, yeah. nuclear power plants were going to melt down. It was like a real deal like like end of world apocalyptic situation. But right. nothing happened. Uh, nothing at all. Just when, like COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. Number one. Number one. Number one. I was waiting for you to say it, but cool. Um, or uh, there's also, I don't they think had a lot of, that. Shh, <laughs> there's a lot of data. They had demographic data about this and they said that most of the money was, was withdrawn from uh, students. So, that totally makes sense though, because like they, they the way they, yeah, the way they could pass information oh, quickly. Yeah, they have, they have cahoots or whatever. So when they withdraw, was it like they withdrew physical cash or they just send it to their other accounts? Both. I think uh, all of that happened. A lot of it said that it mainly got um, swapped and put into other banks. Ooh, Use that's smart. Cash. Spread across universities largely via messaging apps and phone calls. Long lines formed at campus ATMs with a student in Western Ethiopia telling uh, people were withdrawing money until police officers arrived on campus to stop them. It was just a certain ATM there? It was just uh, all, all ATMs for this bank, the CBE, all Central all Bank of Ethiopia, basically. That sounds like a major bank too yeah, out there. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't no Hanmi. <laughs> Bofi. <laughs> they could transfer money using the bank's app. So, so people, some people didn't even have to go to the ATM. Just Damn. using a bank app, they were transferring so, money. Damn, are all the people bro. who did it now gonna be in trouble? Because there's a paper trail. Yeah, right? they have to. They have to give it all back. Technically, right? Uh, the president of Ethiopia said that people who do return the money will not be prosecuted. Uh, that the that is maybe yeah. worth hanging on to. Oh. Good luck, because like it's probably spent for a lot of these people. Yeah. Probably oh, for yeah, sure. Man. You got to do it. You got to go back to all these other places. They got some beef yeah, no tips. <laughs> <laughs> they got some Ethiopian <laughs> coffee. One guy's like, it's like, it's like the whole thing where it's like, uh, if I won the lottery, uh, I won't tell anyone, but there will be signs. The guy's getting a, a swimming pool in the shape of a swan in his backyard. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. I can explain it. Yeah, no. I, you know, I was doing this for a long time. Yeah, summer too. I yeah. dug it out. Good luck. And it, it's one thing that like we we are. Uh, it's pretty obvious the government and the banking will come after the money that's owed to them always. Yeah, but the stop. the other thing is that, uh, uh, quote unquote, the money that was withdrawn during this incident um, and all the loss incurred was still small compared to the bank's total assets. So like, I wonder what like their margin of error is as well that they're like capable of like not needing to prosecute or anything like that. Cause that's just gonna take an insane here. amount they're of They're gonna resources. prosecute to the ends of the earth every dollar, bro. The, yeah. We wish the world worked like that. No, I wish too. I want every one of these motherfuckers to get away with it. Every single one of them. Hope so they all get away get with it. Those fucking notices for like, you were like a dollar off with like a payment that you missed for like something governmental. And then they I mean, the bank's you letters. just gonna get bailed out yeah, you from the government. You can't really fuck with money, people's money. Cause even a casino, which is kind of like a fake bank, they won't fuck around even with a dollar either. Dude, yeah. when those hack attacks happened last year, I was like, every single one of these hackers are dead. What, to Caesars? Yeah, Caesars and Did the they whole... catch them? Not yet, but we don't know. I mean, dude, are they, or are they just dead or... already? Are they yeah. dead already? Yeah. I, as soon as that happened, I was like, dude, these people are dead. You're looking over your shoulder the rest of your fucking life. You're not yeah. going to even make it probably two years. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how they're going to catch them. I'm so curious. If, if they do, they're not going to tell the That's media. The In a situation where they're really going to kill you, it's yeah. not going to be news. Yeah. yeah. They hired the most black ops Delta guys. 
And they're like, go take care of it, and it's probably done already. Trip to Yosemite and they get ate by a bear with the AK-47. <laughs> it's even easier. You just get another hacker and have that guy find the other guy. Like, hackers you, know each other yeah. like crazy. Do you think it was the uh, same group that hit Caesars, that same group hit MGM or, like, whatever? I mean, it was all at the same time, so I'm guessing so. Fuck, man. Yeah, those guys are dead. Heist. God rest their digital souls. It's not like like the casino manager suddenly got woke and have blue hair and they're like, eh, we're cool now. The criminals will come on in and stuff. That's not happening in the casinos, buddy. Yeah, they got yeah. their own world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Especially if they did it once, it's like, what are you you're gonna take a chance that they might hit you again? Like, no fucking way, yeah. bro. Make an example out of these guys. I wonder how like it's always someone switches, snitches, right, in the group. But I'm like, I wonder who's gonna slip up and buy that Lamborghini. Cause it always happens like that. It's like, hey guys. The rules are, we're gonna take this money, gonna leave it there, no one's gonna yeah. know. Whose wife is gonna buy a mink coat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but at that part, at don't, that don't, don't get attention. If you're, if you're buying or <coughs> stealing that much money, aren't you, don't you already have like a game plan of like different ID, non-extradition country, facial fucking reconstruction, plastic surgery or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, isn't there a number of things? Lately, dude, the, the, the biggest hackers in the world are kids. Yeah. Like, wow. I'm not kidding. Yep. Like 15, 14, 13, 12. It's like the parents, GTA kid. The parents are just fucked off in their own land, going to work, coming home, and don't care. And the kids are hacking. And they're so on the spectrum that nobody fucking knows these kids. Wow. Like, nobody knows them. Because they don't even go out. Yeah, they're so anonymous. And they don't have, like, a, a credit history or anything like that. So they, like, don't exist to any institutions that are looking for it. And they're, like, in these little online groups helping each other learn. So they, it's like a hive mind of, like, learning at all times. So... It is not like, I don't know. I know what you're saying, but it's, it's not what it used to be. Yeah, There's not the mobster crazy. wife who's buying a fucking mink coat or the necklace putting it on in a mirror and the guys behind her like, yeah, you guys don't have <laughs> it ain't like that anymore, bro. <laughs> it's not It's not a North Korean hacker camp. Mm -mm. It's 14 year old autistic kids. Yeah. And they're doing it because they love it. That's the crazy Because wasn't one of the casino hacks, I forgot which hack it was, but I remember it being like a 15 year old and then they're like, we'll give you back this. So they demanded a ransom and that ransom was actually really low. It was like, it was like if, you, if you give this back to me, if you, if you want this, you gotta give me like two yeah. million. But the thing was worth like a hundred million. Dude, there was like a 16 wow. year old kid recently, and maybe they're the same shit, but he took a Nintendo Switch and like hacked everybody's shit with it. Whoa. Like while he was like in, in captivity. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The GTA kid. Yeah, GTA. He used the Amazon Fire Stick on a hotel TV. What the fuck? Yeah. Like how though? Because he was already prosecuted for hacking, so he wasn't allowed to have a computer or internet. What? But he got we into a it. he got into a hotel with a fire stick. I don't, but then who knows what's on the stick? Yeah. There probably is already like a backdoor thing on there. Something. So he uses it on a hotel TV, accesses the internet, hacks Rockstar servers, leaks GTA playable demo like Whoa. fucking footage. And he was like. Like on house arrest, basically, right? Yeah. And then they they told him they they got him again. They were like, uh, "Are you gonna do that again?" And he's like, "Yeah," <laughs> because he's not a normal guy. Like he's I'll like, do it again. yeah, they're they're he's honest. They're like, "Are you gonna keep doing this?" He's like, "Yes." <laughs> That's kind of sick, though, huh? Yeah. So they're trying to get him into like a mental here. ward to like, because they can't put him in in jail, jail. So they're trying to like put him in psychiatric. When you're like Loki, not hurting anybody though, like is that kind of still? Were you just showing marketing? us the sick new fucking gems about GTA? I'm isn't that kind of like, isn't that kind of cool marketing for GTA? Am. Is that not on brand? I kind of love. It's very reminiscent of like '90s hacking where they were like phone freaking or using yeah. gas station pumps. Like that's just. But wait, we still probably wouldn't know about GTA if not for some of these little heroes out there. Because yeah. <laughs> they rocks are so shitty and secretive. Mm -hmm. They make us wait and wait, wait a decade plus, yeah. and then they all of a sudden it's coming out in three weeks. It's like, dude, we had to wait for fucking ever. Dude, it's taking so long that the scape of what even happens in Miami is now different from yeah. what they're showing in the game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> you know, like now Miami Band Spring Break, all yeah. this shit's irrelevant now in the game. Yeah. There's, Miami's not even like, like that. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. No, there was that whole PSA. Yeah. There was a whole PSA of like, don't come here yeah. and like, no more spring break in Miami wow. ever. Because people just got old enough in Miami to ban it, huh? Yeah, yeah, that, and they just got sick of what's happening, like, because it's all people from outside that are fucking it up. Yeah, they go mm. there just to fight. It's like Cancun, but. But now everyone goes to Fort Lauderdale, so. <laughs> Cheaper.